The British national treasure Stephen Fry is never away from our screens. For over 40 years he has graced TV and cinemas with countless iconic roles that often made us cry with laughter, but sometimes too could even make us cry with sadness. Let's take a look at his top 5 most iconic roles throughout his storied career. For 13 series, Stephen Fry was host of the popular panel show QI. Where tonight we're mired in misconceptions, and nothing is as it seems, or is it? Along with permanent panelist Alan Davis and a revolving door of different popular entertainment personalities, QI Master Stephen delivered many interesting facts using his natural comedic skills and insightful knowledge, helping viewers to laugh as well as learn. In particular, the on screen chemistry and banter between Alan and Stephen that evolved through the years was a regular show highlight. Don't be put off by a young person knowing more than you, Alan. You must be used to it by now. I'm just fucking about. Sir. But Mr. Fry unfortunately retired from the panel show in 2016, describing the role as one of the best jobs on television. Television, but that it was time to move on. Good night. By 1997, Fry was mostly known as a celebrated comedic actor, but Stephen revealed a more dramatic side to his acting when he gallantly played his hero, Oscar Wilde, in the biopic movie Wilde. In this world, there are only two tragedies. One is not getting what one wants, the other is getting it. His portrayal of the famous playwright and poet was awarded a deserved Golden Globe nomination, and it showed Stephen's range as an artist with his stellar portrayal of Oscar through his darkest moments. I didn't know. <whistles> know thyself, I used to say. I didn't know myself. Fry enabled audiences to feel Wilde's vulnerability and sorrow as he experienced the hardest periods of his life, and it was a performance that often exceeded the quality of the script. The comedy drama Jeeves and Worcester starred Hugh Laurie and Stephen Fry in the title roles, and was based on the characters developed by celebrated writer P.G. Woodhouse, a childhood hero for both comedians. Set in the 1920s, Hugh's Bertie Worcester is an English dim-witted aristocrat who relies on his smarter, resourceful valet, Jeeves. I say, Jeeves, what an extraordinary talent. Thank you, sir. Uh, could one inquire? But... I'm sorry, sir. No, no, of course not. Worcester often finds himself stuck in various predicaments, but Jeeves is usually on hand to extricate him from his different problems. I'm lost, Jeeves. Sunk. Aunt Agatha is due here at six o'clock. If I might propose a course of action, sir? Don't let anything, Jeeves. Anything. What makes this series so wonderful, beyond the witty dialogue, is the fun dynamic between Hugh and Stephen's characters. This is helped by their real-life friendship that started at Cambridge University and developed at Cambridge Footlights. In 1987, Fry and Laurie made their pilot episode for A Bit of Fry and Laurie, a sketch comedy show that often relied on clever wordplay and fun innuendos. The pilot was well received by audiences, and so the first series aired in 1989, and another three followed. Bitch. Come again? My wife. Oh. She doesn't understand me. She's never understood me. What, uh, Polish or something, is she? <laughs> the comedy was known for the characters regularly breaking the fourth wall, often with Fry and Laurie playing themselves in the middle of sketches. Uh, sorry, sorry, I just want to say uh, that this sketch that we're doing now is my absolute favourite one of all time. <laughs> I, just, I just love this one. And what, watch what Stephen does in this. It also dipped in satirising current events, often being a vehicle to criticise the Conservative government at the time. Unlike Jeeves and Worcester, A Bit of Fry and Laurie was also co-written by the British stars, so it was a chance to show not only their comic timing, but their talents for writing sketches too, with a mix of sophisticated language and surreal absurdity. You saw that sketch, I assume you were disappointed. <laughs> Yes, I thought it was predictable, really. You predicted it, did you? Yes, I predicted it. <laughs> Stephen Fry's greatest performance was in the 1980s period sitcom Black Adder. Now then, now, now then, now then, now then, then now. Now, <laughs> now then. Stephen debuted in series two as Lord Melchit, always standing by the side of the unhinged Queen Elizabeth. Grey is more usual, ma'am. Who's Queen? He then returned in series three for one episode as the ferocious Duke of Wellington. Well but his biggest and best role was as the disturbingly incompetent General Melchit in Blackadder Goes Forth. Doing precisely what we've done 18 times before is exactly the last thing they'll expect us to do this time. The pompous Sir Anthony Cecil Hogmanay Melchit is the commanding officer for Rowan Atkinson's character, Eben Blackadder, but Melchit's severely misguided due to his lack of sufficient strategic insight or military expertise. A German spy is giving away every one of our battle plans. You look surprised, Blackadder. I certainly am, sir. I didn't realise we had any battle plans. <laughs> Stephen plays the general of both grandiose and bumbling foolery, 
and convincingly parodies real-life British military leadership during the First World War. Fry's character was a delightful highlight of the fourth series of Blackadder, helping it to become the highest rated of all four Blackadder series. Stephen has of course made his mark in many more series and movies, so it's a good idea to give some honourable mentions for some of his other iconic roles. Sir, what's to stop? What's to stop Miracle and I going to bed together right now? <laughs> yes. The point is, here you belong. Practicing law in London is like light beer. It may look like law and smell like law, but when you swig it right down, it doesn't have the same effect. Look, if you're still uncertain, do what you always do with your more toxic political proposals. Label it a pilot scheme and start it off in Scotland. But what are your favourite Stephen Fry roles? Please share yours in the comments, and you may also want to watch some other Serious Classics videos by tapping one of these links or visiting the channel page. Thanks for watching and... Bye.